is going to change the community, man. Right. Politics is not going to change the community. Celebrating these holidays as set up by your oppressor is not going to change the community. Right. How y'all brothers doing? Good. Come around and look at this sign, y'all. This sign right here. What we out here to do is show our people who we are. So where do y'all see yourselves on this sign? This side, God, call, this is what God call us in the Bible. But here in America, they call us American blacks, West Indian blacks, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Dominicans. So where do y'all find yourself at? Where y'all at? Where you at? American black? Okay, and you. What's your father? What is your father? Your dad, your daddy black? Okay, what's your mom? Okay, it don't matter because it goes according to what your father is, all right? So what, because the man carries the what? The seed. So if you plant a seed, then whatever you plant is what's going to come up, right? All right, so let me show y'all something about the tribe of Judah, man. Right? Give me that first Chronicles. Go back to five and one. This is what y'all need to learn, man, because y'all not going to learn this in, in school. What grade you in? Seventh grade. Which, what grade you in? You're a junior in, in high school? Y'all ain't going to learn this. You, have you learned that you was Judah? Have you learned that you were Judah in middle school? Right, they call you American black. Where they get that from? Crickets. I'm gonna show you, read. The book of First Chronicles chapter five, verse one. Bring it out. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn. The boy said as he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given unto the sons of Joseph. So listen, y'all brother was Reuben. The birthright was supposed to go to him, but he sinned against the Most High. He said he defiled his father's bed, meaning he slept with his stepmom. Great. The sons of Israel, and the genealogy, the genealogy is not to be reckoned after the birthright. Verse two, for Judah prevailed above his brother. Now hear that? If you prevail above something, what that mean? If you're above something, what that mean? It says Judah, these are all brothers. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad. These are all brothers. It's their names. And it says Judah was above his brethren. So what that mean? If he's above his brethren, what that mean? He's on top. So you being a so-called black man, guess what? You from the top tribe. Bring it out. Y'all got to understand how great y'all are. Y'all not American blacks. Y'all not black. Are you the color of your pants? Well, how you black then? It don't make no sense, right? It was something made up. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Let me show you how we know that we these people. Y'all believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Huh? You on the, on the fence? Okay. What about you, bro? You believe in the Bible? Been raised in church, right? Your pastor ain't going to tell you this. He's not going to read this to you. But guess what? You got the prophets before you right here going to read it to you. And I'm going to clear it up for you, right? To make you a believer, right? 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. So this is a future prophecy. It shall come to pass. This is going to happen, right? If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, if you don't listen. This is Moses talking to the children of Israel. Give me that right quick. Let's prove that. Give me Deuteronomy 29 and 1. So we got to get who is talking and who they're talking to. So that you can clearly understand so I can clear up the cobwebs. All right? Listen good. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 1. Bring it out. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. So who's talking? What's your name, bro? Antonio and what? And huh? Come around here. Come around here. Back up. Uh uh. You ain't getting nowhere. Alonzo and what's your name again? Alonzo and Antonio. Right? All right. So these be the words that what? Which Moses Moses to make with the children of Israel. So Moses is talking to who? The children of who? Right here. Children of Israel, the 12 tribes. Bring it out. All right. Go back to where we was at, Deuteronomy 28. Read. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So Moses is telling the children of Israel, this is going to happen in the future. Read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we don't listen to God, read. 
to observe to do all his commandments. If we didn't keep the commandments, right? Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said curses. What's going to happen to you so-called American blacks from the tribe of Judah, right? Right. If you didn't keep the commandments. All of these curses. Now curses is a what? A bad thing, right? It's an evil thing, right? So let's read some of these evil things that happened to us and see if it fit the Chinese man. Bring it out. See if it fit the Japanese. See if it fit the so-called white man. Right. Or see if it relates to us. Give me 68. Give me 68. Read. Verse, six, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he said one of the curses is that you was going to go back into Egypt. If you know anything about the Bible, the children of Israel was in Egypt. They were what? Slaves in Egypt. And he brought them out of Egypt. He redeemed them by Moses. Remember, let my people go, right? He said, let my people go. He redeemed them out. But he said, if you don't keep the commandments, that I'm going to bring you back into Egypt. Now, we're going to read what Egypt means. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So what is that? What is Egypt? House of what? What is bondage? If you're in bondage, what you, what that mean? Slavery. It's another word for slavery. You bound, shackles, right? Bondage. So Egypt means what? Bondage or slavery. So let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. So now we know that Egypt means slavery. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Slavery, bondage, again, read. With ships. How do we get over here to America, Antonio? Alonzo, how do we get over here to the shores of America? Huh? What did they teach you in school? History. What happened in 1619? How did your people get over here? You said your mama Indian, right? What happened to her? What's her history? That's why we out here to teach you what happened to your people. That's right. He said you was going to go back into slavery with ships. Hold the sign up, huh? This happened to our people. Nah, the second one. He said you was going to be, go into Egypt, slavery again with ships. We came from the west coast of Africa, right here. This is the sla uh, slave, uh, slave trade routes where they took the boats. Ships, slave ships. Did that happen to our people or not? Did that happen? They teach, they teach that in school, right? They teach y'all about slavery in school, right? A little bit about Black History Month, right? So did this happen? Yes or no? It happened. So that makes the Bible a what? A true book. That's right. That's right. That makes the Bible a true book. So now you know that your people, it was prophesied. This is prophecy. That in the future, you was going to go into slavery with ships. You can't refute that. That happened to our people. That makes the Bible a true book. That's right. So when you say, you know what, I don't believe in God, I really don't know if I believe in that book. You can't get around that. That happened. That's in the Bible. But they don't read that in the church. That's right. But the Israelites, we're going to come out here and teach you what's the true word of God. That's right. So what did he say about them ships? Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So once we came from the west coast of the Africa, and we came to this side of the world, which is called the so-called new world, right? Have we been back to the, to the uh, west, I mean the east coast? Huh? We haven't been, we haven't been back. So Moses said that what? Thou shalt what? Thou shalt see it no more again. We wasn't going to see our homeland no more. Stuck over here. That's the truth. This is the truth. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You know about the slave trade, right? Hold that up, huh? Yeah. Let's show these brothers, man. We got to wake y'all up. So y'all can go back to y'all family. Y'all right? Y'all go back to y'all brothers. The, the brothers in y'all community. And y'all can show them this. That this happened. He said that once you got off the ships, right? Read. 
there you shall be sold unto your enemy. So when we got on this side of the land, we was going to be sold, man. Look at that. Okay. White man selling our people. Mama, big mama in the cotton field right here. Right. Yokes around their neck, poking them. Slave catcher right here on a horse. We were sold once we got off those ships. Look at that. Tearing the baby away from the bomber. Look at that. Baby on the ground. That happened to our people. That's how we know the Bible is a true book. That's right. He said he's going to be sold to your enemies. Read on. For bond men. A slave man. Read. And bond women. And the women was in slavery too. Read on. And no man shall buy you. Meaning no man was going to be able to save you. No man is going to be able to redeem us out of the conditions that we in. Even to this day. Uh, who's getting shot down in the streets? Huh? The blacks. Right. You're right. Where's the Chinese man getting shot down? Huh? Where they at? Where's the Japanese man getting shot down in the streets? Where's the Arabs that's getting shot down in the streets? It don't pertain to them. Why? Because the Bible is our book. That's right. That's why I'm trying to get you to see that this is the truth. That you should believe in the Bible because you can't refute this. This happened. This history. And we're reading it where? Out of the Bible. That's right. We don't come with Christianity, bro. That's a lot. Now, I understand that when you see, you know, people laying hands and they talking about they healed and all that. That's right. fake. That's garbage. But this happened. You can't, you can't get around it. Y'all can put the signs down. Give me first 48. Let's get some more proof. Read on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy. So who's the enemy? We just read about it. Who's the enemy, according to the Bible? The same enemy that did what? Put, ship, put us on slave ships. He said you was going to be sold to your enemies. Y'all understand that, right? So who sold us? Who sold us? Once we got off the ships, who packed us up and sold us? The white man. So God called them your what? Read it again. Therefore, ye shall be sold. Oh, my fault. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Your what? Your enemies. Now your friends. Thine enemies. What is God calling the other nations? The so-called white man. Your what? Your enemies, man. Right. Because would a friend do this to you? Would a friend beat your back end with a whip? Would a friend take your kids from you and sell them to Master Charles? Right. Would a friend have you on the projects with roaches? Rex, would a friend have you working for uh, uh, what 725 at McDonald's? Right. Right? While, while they, uh, uh, you, while they sitting on a yacht somewhere, on a beach, that's not a friend, man. That's a call to enemy. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent it against us. This, one, hey, this wasn't, this was an act of God, is what it's telling you. The Lord sent them against us. Read on. In hunger. In hunger. Read. And in thirst. So whenever you're hungry, you got to go to your enemies, Antonio. Antoine. Ant what's, what's your name? Alonzo. And Antonio. Whenever you're hungry, you got to go where? McDonald's. Who owns McDonald's? Burger King. Who owns Burger King? Taco Bell. Wendy's right here. You want to get something to drink out this store? Who owns this? The Arabs, right? Enemies. He said, if you hungry, if you thirsty, you got to go to your enemies, man. These other nations. Read on. And in nakedness. If you naked, Antonio, Alonzo, what you need if you naked? You need what? So he's telling you that you got to go to your enemies for that Nike. For them Nike shoes. Right? For them Nautica, Nautica sweatpants. You got to go for that Jordan hoodie. Do we own that? They own it. This is how we know the Bible is a true book, Antonio. Read on. And in the want of all things. So if you want anything, that scooter that you got. Did you buy that from your own people? Nah. Did you buy that from your own people? You did? Who? My, my uncle. Your uncle. Okay. Did your uncle? Who did your uncle get it from? Right. From the enemy, man. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So this same enemy that you got to go to for food. Water, anything you want, clothes. He's gonna do what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. 
you're going to put a yoke of iron up on your neck. That happened. We're reading the Bible, man. Right, yeah. That's how we know that it's a true book. That's right. Because this happened to our people. Putting yokes of iron on their neck. This happened. Right? Read on. Until he have destroyed thee. So the yokes was going to come off when Antonio said that, you know, I was black. That's when the yokes came off. When you didn't know that you was Judah no more. That's right. You thought that you was African American. You thought that you was uh, black. You thought that you was Indian. That's when the yokes came off your neck. You can put that down up. Appreciate it. So you understand that, right? So y'all got any questions just on that little bit that we read? You got any questions? What you got, Alonzo? So y'all understand that? So based on what we just read, do y'all understand that y'all from the tribe of Judah? You understand that, right? That, that the, the Bible talking about our people. Right? Alright, so y'all understanding that now as young men, y'all gotta start changing. Because when y'all change, guess what? The other young brothers gonna change. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.